Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the English Dance Work Level 9 on online session. This is the second session for this first week. Buenas noches para todos y todas. Bienvenidos a las sesiones del curso English Dance Work Nivel 9. Esta es la segunda sesión para esta primera semana. Okay, everyone, so today we are going to work already on the topics, as I told you on Monday. On Monday, we reviewed the platform, what were the submission activities you had to or you have to submit and now today we're going to work on some topic specifically we're going to talk about the past so the thing is that as you all know we need to submit something called evidencias here at Sena. for this week we have one actually and this uh, level is a bit particular because it doesn't have that many activities. It just has a few ones. Let's see the schedule. Remember that everything is going to be available until um, October the 30th. That day at midnight, everything closes. And this week, we are going to work on this evidence, this so-called evidence. We call it like that here at Sena. What did you use to do? You were bored. What you need to do there, we're going to check the, um, the guide. What you need to do there, this is the guide. We're going to check this one here. Okay. So what we need to do here is to simulate, or actually we already all went through that, but we need to pretend or we need to... Not, not pretend actually, we need to explain what we did back then um, during the lockdown, during the pandemic, not to get bored. So in this case, there are a couple of structures we can use. I'm going to tell you about that a bit later. There's someone here. I'm going to, to, um, to tell you about that a bit, a bit later. The thing is that we're going to to, to see, and we're going to imagine we're st still back by then, but let me check where there is that. Okay, due to the restrictions that we all had to go through during the pandemic, many people were used to some things, but and do some routines, uh, and they used to go outside the city to, to get entertained, to forget about the things that the, the, they used to do um, in their normal life and their regular life, but everyone, we all had to stay at home because of the pandemic, and we had to find out find out ways to to spend the, that time we had that we couldn't spend um, elsewhere. So the thing is that we are going to to make a presentation. We are going to make a video. It says video blog, but basically it's just a video. And uh, we're going to make a video and we're going to tell, we're going to speak and said what kind of things you used to do back then. As you, as we all know, the pandemic is over, it, it is finished, it is done with, and everything is in the past. So the idea here is you're going to, to tell us what you used to do back then to get yourself um, busy. One thing we're going to, to do today is that we are going to work. Okay, the thing is that you need to do that. You need to use the structure, the things we're going to talk about today. And um, you need to submit that through. Here you go to the main, to the home page. You go and look for the evidencias uh, tab. And there's just one evidence. Uh, this is called evidence. And you have this one here. You record yourself in an MP4 file. You know, that's better if you do it that way. And you send it through this submission space. Now, what we do need to, to actually create this presentation. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So we are already talked about the evidence. The evidence is all about telling in a video what we used to do back then to get our minds uh, busy and to be entertained and not to get and to avoid getting bored. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk a little bit 
about simple past. So there's something I like to do, and it is to show it with a um, diagram. So here we are going to talk the simple past tense. Here we have the very the very moment we are on. This is now, and here you will see an X. You will see a point in time where something happened, but it started and almost immediately stopped. So she phoned me yesterday. That was something that happened in that very moment. The thing is that I have an activity, and you, you all know, because of previous, uh, how would you say it, previous courses or levels or instructions you have taken, you know that there are two things to consider when you mm, come up with a sentence in the past. There are two versions of that. We have the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. So if there is irregular, we usually add ed. If it is a regular verb, an irregular verb, then we need to go and, sh and look for a table, something like this, and to, and to look for the second column, what the uh, corresponding past tense is. So we're going to do an activity to review a little bit of the past tense before we move to the other part. And here is the activity. Maybe some of you have already done something like this. And here we are going to have something like, um, this is a, a sentence in Spanish, el actor miró televisión. And you are going to have two options. The actor watched TV, the actor watches TV. One is in, pre in the present, the other one is in, in the past. The one we want to find is the one in the past, el niño estudió francés. The child studies French, the child studied French. There are five questions. You will see here. There are five questions, and we need to choose the one with the verb in the past tense. So we're going to, to try it. Let's give it a try. Here. No, not this one. This is what we have here. It is pretty simple. You need to go here. There's an interface and you need to choose a nickname. So it offers you some weird nicknames like an adjective and an animal like crazy tiger. You can choose one here, silver dragon, I'm going to say that that's fine by me, I'm going to choose it, choose it. I'm going to change it to this one, I like this dog uh, avatar, let's see, and you are going to wait there for me to, to send you the, um, the start point, or to tell you when to start, yeah, so let me see, I hope you all understood what we need to do there, Clever Pelican is already here. Let's see if a couple more of you join. And as I told you, the thing is that with this um, so called evidence, we need to tell what we used to do at some point in time. But we are going to start with the simple past to show you something, and then we're going to use something that is a bit different regarding the. Um, the past, a different way to, to talk about the past uh, compared to the simple past. Let me see, it's just clever pelican is here. Okay, we are going to do it with just one person, that's okay. So if any one of you wants to join later, don't worry, there's no problem, you can join at any point you want. Okay, let's see. And simple regular verbs. So we're going to choose the one in the simple past. Now we have here this. El actor miró televisión. We have two options. The actor watched TV. Ah, that's exactly the one. You know, we need to add ED at the end. That's good. Next one. El niño estudió francés. We have the child studies French. The child studied French. 
Yeah, you got it right. Exactly. This is the one in the past. Let's see the other one. Um, la youtuber desempacó un celular. So in this case, we have the youtuber unboxes a cell phone. The youtuber unboxes a cell phone. That's good. Next one. To clean, dos amigas limpiaron la mesa. Two friends clean the table. Two friends clean the table. So in this case, we need to choose what the past tense is. Okay, that's right. That's the red one. And the last one. Cinco estudiantes aprendieron inglés. So we are going to choose the correct one. Uh, five students learned English. Five students learned English. The right one is the one with the ed. So at this point, you get the idea that when you when you want to talk about something in the past, in and if that's a regular verb, you just add the ed at the end or ied sometimes, and that's it. Then that's way you can have the conjugation of the verb. Now, and in this case, we're talking about something that happened at some specific point in time. Now, we're going to move to a different version of that. So, for regular verbs, we add ed, and there are others that are the irregular verbs. Those irregular verbs are part of a list, like, let's see someone here, another one that is more common, like break, yeah? We don't, we don't, we don't say break, we say broke or built, built, the, the correct one, and then the right past tense is on the second column. So we're going to do a little bit of the very same thing we did with the previous one. But in this one, we're going to work with regular verbs. It's the same idea. There's one of these two that is in the present. The other one is in the past. But this time we're going to have um, irregular verbs. Yeah, the, the ones we take from the irregular verbs list. Yeah, there's one in present and the other one is in the past. We're going to try it again. Let's give it a go. For those of you who haven't tried, it's, it's not that complicated. Okay, let's see here. Let's go here. Let's try it. So, all you have to do is to click on that link we're going to do it this way. If you click there, it asks you to choose um, a nickname, a username. This is a fictitious one. This is actual, your, your actual name. You can choose one here. My Thick Piranha. I think that's great for me. I'm going to choose the, this one. I like this one. And this one with this accessory. And you just wait for me to signal the, the activity's the start point. That's all you need to do. And you choose one of those versions. And the idea is to choose the one with the, in the past tense for this activity. Okay, let's see. Okay, the winner is Clever Pelican. And the new one. Now we have Captain Puffin. Okay, let's see. Is there anyone else daring enough to try the activity? Okay, that, that's all right. If you don't want to, please follow along at home and we are going to give it a go. Pass simple irregular verbs. Three, two, one, and go. We have the following. La estudiante dijo hola. The student says hello. The student said hello. We need to choose the one in the past tense. All right, that's this one. How we know that this is the correct one? We go here. Let's look for the say. Say, say, say. Apparently, ah, no, okay. Say is the present one, and said is the past one. Dijo hola. Next one. Eh, mi hermana tuvo un sueño. This one is the verb have. My sister had a dream. My sister has a dream. How do we know that had is the correct one? We go here. We look for the verb have. 
have and the past tense is had, you know, on the second column. We can choose that one. Next, let's see the next one. To buy, that's comprar. El cliente compró un carro. One customer bought a car, one customer buys a car. Actually, it should be like the customer. I made a typo there, but you got it right. The, one, uh, the customer bought a car. How do we know that bought is the pass of buy? Let's see here. Buy. This is organized alphabetically. Uh, is, it, is it here? Buy is in here. Buy, 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 buy. 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 The past tense is bought. Okay. This one. Next one. El robot habló inglés. O en inglés. The robot spoke English. One robot speaks English. So how do we know this is the right one? Eh, once again, we'll go here because this is an irregular verb. Speak, spoke. And let's see the last one. To learn, eh, cinco aprendices o estudiantes aprendieron inglés. We have here five students learned English. Five students learned English. <coughs> and the right one is learned. Again, Let's check for learn. Learn, 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 learn. Learned and the past is learned. And we, we also can have this as a regular verb. Okay, that's the idea behind that. And congratulations, Captain Puffin. Okay, that's good. Okay, so the, the thing with this is that when we use regular or irregular verbs, we talk about something that happened in the past and it stopped there. Now, sometimes there were things in the past that didn't happen just at some specific point in time and they lasted a bit longer. I'm going to give you some example about that with this one. There are things with simple past like I spoke to you, I bought a house, I said hello, all those things happen in a single point in the past and they and those already ended very quickly yeah so it happened in in like a second almost now there are other things that happened in the past but those things lasted longer and here is when we are going to use something called used to it, this can be used for many things but when you use it in the past and you have a subject and then you use this used to uh, structure, you indicate that something happened at some point or it started at some point and then it ended at other point. But it took longer than if you were you like if like if you were to say that it happened in just one point in time or on just one point in time. So the idea is the following. We already talked about the simple past tense, something that we did at some specific point in time. Now we're going to talk about used to and good to identify things that happened in the past. Let me see something here. To identify things that happened in the past, but they those lasted way longer than just one moment in time. I'm going to give you some explanation here about that. I'm going to remove this one. I don't think this one is relevant. So here we have the past tense. So we have I, um, I talked, let's do something here, to you. I talked to you happened that happened at some specific moment in time. It was like, maybe it lasted like 10 minutes, but it, it, it wasn't something like that wasn't a repeated action. It was something that happened and then it ended. When we, have, when we had a routine, like I'm going to give you some example. I'm going to change it here. I work on... Monday, but here is in the past, I worked on Monday. 
Yo trabajé el lunes. Then, this already happened and this is an activity that is already done. I worked on Monday. Now, I'm going to say something that is wrong to explain you how to do it properly. Let's say something like this. I worked for, and let's say uh, some institution, something. Um, I work for... I work for a company. Uh, let's say something general. I work for a company. I'm going to tell you in Spanish what the idea is, and then we're going to change it for something different. In this case, if we say, I work for a company, in Spanish, we tend to think that this is, yo trabajé para una compañía. Yeah? But the, the thing is that when we do it with present simple, um, it's, it's like yo trabajé, but it, at just one point in time, like on Monday, last uh, Tuesday, last month, on in 2022, yeah, we need to add like a point in time. When we want to say something like trabajaba, there, there's a way to say that, but in English, they are going, we are going to use something called used to. So we're going to add it here. Let's give this a different color. And now it changes a little bit. I used to, this is in the past. Yes, it, it has the ED thing. I used to work for a company. And the translation of this is yo solía trabajar para una compañía. So th those are two different things. I worked on Monday. Past simple, something that happened uh, at one point in time, and then it is stopped, it is done. We don't know about that. It wasn't like a routine. That wasn't something that you did frequently. Just You just did it, and that's it, at one point in time. And when you use used to, it's like in the past, this is all in the past. Here we have the present. This is all in the past. You used to do something that at some point changed. So in this case, if we say, I used to work for a company. Let me see here. I used to work for a company at some point in time. Uh, let me see something here. At some point in time, you started working for the company. And at some point in time, you stopped working for that company. There was something that changed that was that you stopped working for the company. So the thing is that if you want to mention things that were in a point of time or at a point of time, uh, you use past simple. I worked, I talked, I said, I, I don't know, I taught, I bought, yeah, everything is going to be in past simple. When there's when you are going to refer to something that happened during during some per period of time, then we are going to have to use the used to form. I used to work, I used to talk, I used to live. Let's say something like I used to live in an apartment. Uh, yeah, for some period of time. Uh, I was there, but there's something changed. That's the that's the difference there. Mm, we can use the same here. I lived apartment. There's something wrong here. Ah, just one p. Um, okay, I live in. Uh, I live in. an apartment on Monday. So I live in an apartment on Monday oh, for one night. So if I say I live in an apartment for one night, this is simple past. If I say I used to live in an apartment for some period of time, starting here and ending here, I used to live there and then something changed and now I live somewhere else. It's like we say in Spanish, 
eh, solía. Yo solía vivir en un apartamento y this one is eh, yo viví en un apartamento. This is like something more focused, more precise. And there's another way to refer about the past tense similar to used to using the, uh, the modal verb good. This, this is similar, but you use it in conjunction with some other kind of expression. When you use already used to, you can complement it with this one. Let's, let me show you how it would be. This one, this one, this one. I'm going to show you something here. We're going, I'm going to open the, the mic for some of you if you want to try this with me. But I'm going to do it with this example to show you how to use good and what would be the, the translation of this. What do you use to do when you were a child? So here I have the answer. When I was young, or actually a, a child, let's keep the same, let's keep it consistent. When I was a child, I used to uh, play uh, football. Yeah, so when I was a child, I used to play football. Cuando, cuando yo era un niño, yo solía jugar fútbol. Now, if you want to complement it, instead of saying, again, used to, used to, used to, you can do it the, this way. You, could, you can say, I could, I could play as the keeper or goalkeeper. So the translation here is the following. And when I was a child, I used to play football. Cuando yo era un niño, yo solía jugar fútbol. Yo jugaba como el arquero. I'm going to give you some other example. When I was a child, I used to... I used to watch um, TV. I used to watch TV. I would, um, I would watch TV. TV. All night long. And when I was a child, I used to watch TV. Cuando yo era un niño, yo solía ver televisión. I would watch TV all night long. Yo miraba la televisión toda la noche. Now, you might be wondering, uh, teacher, can we use simple present instead? In this, in this case, we can because if we do it with simple past, it's going to be different. And actually, it doesn't make much sense. Let me show you. I watched... Okay, there's something wrong here. Watch, watch. Let's give it some other color. Okay, so if we do it with simple past, that's going to that is that isn't going to make sense, actually. I used to watch TV. I watch uh, I used to watch TV, I watch TV all night long. Yo solía mirar televisión. Yo miré televisión toda la noche. The idea here, it isn't that wrong, but if we do it with good, we are indicating that that was, that was something that we, we did repeatedly. So, I used to watch TV. I would watch TV all night long. Yo solía ver televisión. Yo, lo así, yo miraba televisión toda la noche. That's something that you used to do in the past, but it was during some period of time when you were a child. At some point, you you were no, you no longer were a child, so that didn't apply to you. So the idea here, or the the um, the activity I want to propose to you for those of you who who want to do it, I'm going to give an example for those of you who are watching the recording. I'm going to 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 give a couple of I'm going to ask and I'm going to give like a, a, a silence period for those of you who are watching the recording uh, to answer. And for those of you here in this online session, for those of you who want to actually talk and, and, and try it, 
we can I can ask you and 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 you can answer yeah just like like a conversation um so I'm going to do two things I'm going to give the example I'm going to talk about the um, what is it the the the, the assignment the uh, quote unquote evidence and then we're going to open the the mic for some of you to try okay so the pues, the, the idea is the following. And let me see. Okay, child. All right. So the question is, what did you used to do when you were a child? Okay. So that's for those people who are watching the recording. I'm talking about the mm, the evidence. The so-called evidence, that's not the right translation in English, like it would be something like the assignment. We are going to I want you to do or I want you to understand the following. You have to, or there's something that you need to do, you need to make a presentation showing what you used to do during the lockdown. So let's say what here, what did you used to do during the lockdown? Um, during the lockdown, I used to argue with my friends. I would uh, throw things at them. When, durante el, this is a, a contrived, a very exaggerated um, example, but, but it's for you to understand. When I was during the pandemic, I used to argue with my friends. I would throw things at them. So, uh, durante, la, uh, durante el confinamiento, yo... Eh, tenía discusiones con mis amigos yo les lanzaba cosas yeah so that's the kind of, of um, thing you you can do so you can do two things actually you can use this and um, you can use simple pass to mention things that you did at some point so when the um, lockdown started um i was really afraid yeah this this happened at some specific moment of time when the lockdown started i was really afraid um and then i used to and you can complement that the video might take between one and two minutes it doesn't have to be that long if you do it with one or two minutes that's enough bueno, un, una aclaración aquí de pronto para los que no me hayan entendido en inglés, igual no hay ningún problema. Lo que hay que hacer en la evidencia es que vamos a contar qué, qué, qué nos solía pasar. Ahí podemos utilizar pasado simple y lo del used to y lo del good que les contaba acá. Entonces podemos decir que cuando, por ejemplo, en este caso, para utilizar el pasado simple, cuando el confinamiento inició, eh, yo estaba muy asustado. ¿sí? Entonces eso es pasado simple porque es algo que pasó en un momento preciso. Y ya para hablar de cosas que fueron repetitivas, podemos utilizar el used to. Um, I used to watch uh, Netflix series all day long. I would, or I would um, uh, talk with my friends on the phone. And then I used to, yeah, you can combine these two to, to start. The only thing I recommend you is that if you're going to use good, first use used to, use something else before using good. Don't use it directly uh, on its own. You can, but it sounds better if you said something before and then you use good. So that would be something I wanted to tell you regarding the the, the evidence, the, the assignment. Okay, everyone. So it's been a pleasure to be with you. I'm going to finish the recording. I'm going to stop it. And we will meet again on Monday at, at 6 p.m. o'clock to continue working on the activities and the materials and and to keep telling you what we are going to do in the course. Okay, I hope everything was useful and clear and we will meet again on Monday at 6 p.m. o'clock chart. Have a good day. Have a good night, take your t-shirt, bye-bye. I'm, I'm, I'm not done, give me